Hi my crafty friends, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of All About That Designer Series Paper. We are on episode 30 today, yay! My goodness, which means this series has been running for 30 weeks. Solid, so I'm happy about that. Okay, we're using Parisian Sweet Blossoms. Parisian Blossoms Sweet, rather. Namely, this beautiful Speciality Designer Series Paper. Speciality because it does have silver um, embossing through it, like silver. I'll show you in a second. Shiny, shiny. I'll show you. This is the one we're using today. Can you see that? Beautiful. All double sided. Okay, so we are going for pool party card base. No, we're not. We're going for petal pink card base. Pool party um, matte layer and then the gorgeous DSP on the top, which is this one. So we're also going to use the petal pink uh, metallic edge ribbon and the champagne rhinestone basic jewels. Now if you would like to order anything from me, here is my website address. You simply go to shop now. Um, and if you need any help, just give me a little holler. Okay, so, for those of you that are new, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator covering UK and parts of Europe. So, um, if you're French, German, Austrian, um, please feel free um, to order through me as well. Okay, so... What we're starting with, like I said, I have all these bits um, already pre-cut. Okay, so we have our petal pink. We've got the matte layer in pool party and we have a wisp of white inside. Okay, so let's do the obvious bits first. Let's pop the layers on. Okay. So I'll do the card insert first. Now this is just your standard E5 folded in half. Okay. Then we're going to pop the pool party on. The card insert and the matte layer on the front here are an eighth of an inch um, smaller in size. But if you wanted to recreate this card, you could do so on your own measurements that you... Um, like to work with because we're all different. Okay, so there is our basis for our card. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so I've taken this DSP. Now what I've done is I had actually cut it down to three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. And then I've just trimmed off the bottom half. Well, not the bottom half. I uh, measured it up to two inches and cut that off. So this is the main focal point of the card. This is where I'm going to stamp onto here. And then we'll have some ribbon to add on the card as well. Okay, so let's do that. Really, really easy, quick card. Great way to um, de-stash your designer series paper too. This was just a piece that was laying with nothing happening, so I decided to um, use it in today's card. Okay. So there is a difference of an eighth of an inch on here as well. Right, now what I want you to do is I want to actually stamp on here. Okay, now the stamp that I've decided to use is actually from the So Inviting Photopolymer stamp set, which is in our mini catalogue also. Namely this one, okay. Now I am stamping directly onto here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, silver emboss this. Okay, and I do want it as close to that edge as possible, okay? So I'm just going to put my supplies to the side just now. Grab a scrap piece of paper. Okay, I'll get my embossing tools out. 
in my embossing supplies rather. So we need the um, we need the Versamark today watermark stamp pad we need the embossing buddy and we need silver I don't think I've used this yet or maybe it's the gold I haven't used can't remember can't remember right okay so apologies for using an unbranded um heat gun um I still haven't treated myself to the, the stamping up one but I will I will one day right now I'm just going to keep that to the side right so what we need to do we need to get a block for the stamp such a pretty 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 font I'm just going to pop it on squint like that I could use one of my longer blocks, but... Right, now, first things first, we need to emboss buddy it, okay? Like so. Just going to get rid of any excess powder from that. We are then going to add the Versamark to our little stamp. And then we're going to add the powder. So this is really, really, really sticky. Just make sure you are covering all parts of your stamp. Okay. And then we're going to pop this down. I need it as close to the bottom left side. And you'll see why shortly. So if I pop that to the side just now. Get the glue out of the way. Add my... Yeah, I haven't used that yet. Add my embossing powder. Okay. And that is it. Fabulous. Right. This is a bit... I always seem to get... the um, embossing particles all over my desk. Even though I think I'm being tidy. Oh, none. Perfect. Right, what we need to do is heat that glue gun. Um, why do I always call it a glue gun? Heat that um, heat gun before we um, try and melt this on. It's just obviously the, the heat to um, set the embossing powder it needs to be relatively warm and hot. And if you put it on straight away you're going to bevel your card a little bit more than doing it this way so wow look at that absolutely love it okay turn this bad boy off wow I do you like that and it complements this extremely well. Beautiful. Okay. So let's pop this down. Do, 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 do. Now I'm remembering the little um, eighth of an inch gap there. Okay. Then what we need to do is we're going to stick our um, ribbon down. Now, because this is cut in half, I decided not to wrap it around layers. So I'm just going to add my snail all the way across to the edge, like so, keeping it on that DSP. I'm just going to snip this into a straight line. And I want to make sure we are covering that gap and then we need to snip carefully to make it in line with at the other side which I haven't done. Ta-da! 
There we go. How pretty. Very, very, very pretty. Okay, so. And I don't have any snail overlapping either side there. Um, what I've also done is I kept an off cut. So I'm going to pop that on the inside. Now if you want to take this card even further, you could emboss the card insert also, but I'm not doing that today. Just trying to keep this short and sweet. She says, more fingers and thumbs today. Okay, now this is overlapping ever so slightly. I'm just going to cut that down. There we go. Now, there was some remaining pieces. So I've, I've already fussy cut um, a piece out of here, I think it was. I am going to attach that there, overlapping. Okay. But enough so that you can still see the blue border, like so. Okay, have a little play around, um, but you'll see how I, I uh, emboss this over on that corner there. So it's very, very pretty. Very pretty. Right. Now, I think I'll attach this with some mini dimensionals. I don't seem to have used these in what seems like ages. Let me use the rest of these that was out of one of my free celebration kits. Da -da. I'm just trying to see how that's positioned. Need another one here. Well, that just worked out perfect. Okay, so let's get these wee sticky things off. I'm able to do it easier now because I have a little bit growth on my nails. Right. Let's pop that on. There. Beautiful. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Dry throat. Oh. Okay, now for the champagne jewels. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry guys. Don't know what's going on. Right, I think I'm maybe a little sleever went down my windpipe. <coughs> oh dear. Right, let's position these. I'm thinking, should I do them randomly or pop them across? Hmm. I think I'll do them randomly. Fill up that space a little bit. Just like that. And I think that is more than enough for the card. And we're just at over just over 10 minutes, which is absolutely fabulous. So I think I will try and add another little thing down here just to kind of use some of this space. Okay, and what I'll do is I'll just tuck it under this section that I've already popped up with dimensions. Okay, so just fussy get this out as best I can. I'm going to take this up to the line as much as possible. So if I pop that there, that looks amazing. And like I've said before in previous videos, it's just to um, utilise this beautiful paper as much as possible. And um, We have another little bit here that I could... Um, pop on, maybe in the corner. I think I'll lift this up and move it over there. That's what I'll do. Right, this little one. And if you find you've got only half an image, or two sides of an image even, you could cut it down so that you could kind of utilise it in a corner of your card. So that one I'm going to pop there, okay? I think I'll raise that up with dimensions. 
many dimensionals. I don't know about you guys, but all I've heard during a um, quiet time in the house is lots of motorbikes really taking advantage of the empty roads on the um, busy mo the motorway that's close to our house. You really need to be careful. Okay, so that's the front of our card. I was wanting to actually add a little element in here. Now what I'll do is I will, I'm going to cut out this, let me see now. I'm going to cut out this flower, okay? And I'll utilize it there on the page. So let me see how I can um, save this little bit. You could of course use a punch to stamp it out in a circle or something. Okay. You see, if I pop that there, or I could pop it there, but it'd be upside down. You can see how you can just chop and change. I may actually pop this one at the top just to be a little bit different. Let's do that. As long as there's a straight edge somewhere for um sticking your image on. I'm gonna pop it there. Like so. And that is our 30th episode of All About That DSP. I hope you've liked um today's project. Um, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you do and um, it would be great if you could subscribe to the channel also. Okay everyone, thank you so much for visiting me today. Um, I really appreciate every single one of you that, that tunes into my channel. Um, this is why I love doing what I do to um, keep you all inspired. Okay, bye just now.